What's up, guys? DLE Kamel here, and we're finally getting to do some Duel Links links. Boy, has it been a while. Not too long ago, the newest Duel Links mini box, Stars of Synchro, was added to the game, or should I say the leaks of it? Thank you, Random Plocks, for those leaks. And in this mini box, we've got a combination of different Synchro archetypes and support for them. We've got Dragoonity. We've got Blackwing, we've got Ice Barrier, and there is even some Infernity sprinkled in there along with some general Synchro monsters. So let's get into it. We're going to go archetype by archetype since we don't have these cards sorted by rarity yet. And I think that's going to be the more effective way to cover these cards because a mini box like this, it is more focused. And you're going to be going in here for certain support uh, for the support of circuit archetypes, so that's how we're going to cover it. So the first archetype that I read, and my personal favorite from this list, because it is one of my favorite, is Dragoonity. So let's take a look at Dragoonity, uh, their first monster that they're getting in this. We're going to go over it. It is Dragoonity Armagram. So Armagram is a wind level 10 dragon, and excuse me guys, my allergies are really acting up today, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. So here we have a level 10 wind dragon that says you can banish two dragon and or winged beast monsters from your graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. You can target a face up monster. Its effects are negated and it loses a thousand for each equip card you control. When your opponent's monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can equip it to this card. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. It's not a better boss monster for Dragoonities than the, uh, the level 10 synchro, the... Oh my gosh, its name escapes me right now. You guys have to tell me it in the comments. But this guy seems like more of a late game boss monster because it does require you to banish two dragon or winged beasts in your graveyard, which means you would have had to have made a synchro summon already. And its effect is just kind of... Uh, it's, it's very specific. It's not very powerful. You have to target one monster and its effects are negated. So, you know, a lot of playing around can be done with that, and it is a targeting effect, so not the best for Dragoonity, but some of their other support is going to help them a lot more, I feel like. Next, we've got Dragoonity Legatus. This says, if you control Dragon Ravine or a Dragoonity monster, you can special summon it from your hand, and if you have a Dragoonity monster in your Spell and Trap card zone, you can target a Spell and Trap on the field and destroy it. This is a pretty cool level 4, and it does reference Dragon Ravine, which is pretty much going to be a main staple of the deck. So, since that card may be a main staple, you might want to play this guy, although it does not help you get out any Dra uh, Dragoonity tuners. It is specifically built around uh, back row removal and special summoning itself from Dragon Ravine. Okay, next we've got the newest tuner, Dragoonity Guisarm. So this is a level 3 Dragoonity Tuner. Usually Dragoonities go by level 2s or 4s. This one is level 3. When this card is normal summon, you can target one level 4 or lower Wind Dragon or Winged Beast Monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but its effects, but negate its effects. If this card is currently equipped to a monster, you can special summon this equipped card. So this card has a co couple of pretty cool synergies with the other Dragoonities first, you're going to be summoning a level four Dragoonity, probably one of your uh, Legionnaires or your Miss, whatever the, the level fours are got. I cannot even remember that. Senatus, that is what he is called. It's a function negated, but you're going to use it to synchro right away. And if it is equipped, you can then uh, special summon and synchro. So let's look up Dragoonities really quick. Uh, and we will see, yes. Ascalon. Damn, the level 10. Okay, so we do have a level 3 tuner here, and I'll go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. We do have Dragoonie tonight. Gorm Fobar. Okay, this is a level 7 wing uh, wind synchro. If this card is synchro summon, you can target one Dragoonie tuner in your graveyard and equip it to this card. A quick effect, you can send one equipped card you control that is equipped to this card to the graveyard, then target the two cards in your opponent's graveyard and banish them. So, one reason I like this card is if you use it, if you use Guisarm to summon it, Guisarm will then be in the graveyard, and you'll be able to bring the Guisarm back and equip it onto Gorm, and then you can use Guisarm's effect to special summon it from the Spell and Trap card zone, and then you will be able to make your Dragoonity Knight Ascalon, the level 10, the real boss monster you want to make that is going to give you your desirable banishing removal that you want. That's the win con for Dragoonities right now. So, this is a pretty nice combo. 
it does separate some Dragoonies from some of the legwork you had to do before, since you can straight up just use Guisarm at any level 4, and you basically have instant Ascalon with just Guisarm and a level 4, uh, and the ability to get them both out at the same time, that is. So the next notable Dragoonity card I wanted to talk about is Dragon Ravine. So this is a massively OP TCG card that was definitely held off from duelings because of what its effect could do for other dragon decks so it has two effects you discard a card then you activate one of these effects so you discard then you add one level four or lower dragoonity monster from your deck to your hand or you can send one dragon monster from your deck to the graveyard so the dragoonity effect this is going to make it much easier to get ascalon you're going to be able to search for exactly the piece you need and you can send any dragoonity a tuner or the Winged Beast, it doesn't matter which one, and then you can get, you know, you can, excuse me, you can discard anything and then add any Dragoonity. I misinterpreted that for a moment, forgive me. But the Dragon Effect is also pretty interesting too. This would have helped decks like Blue Eyes a lot. All you have to do is send a Dragon from your deck to the graveyard. Dude, you're getting a stone in the grave. It's pretty sick. Uh, you know, stuff like Rose Dragon as well that needs stuff in the grave. Maybe they're not going to play Dragon's Ravine, but, uh, still pretty interesting the possibilities with dragon decks konami for so long did not want us to have access to this effect now we finally have it what are we going to do with it guys in the comments that's what i'd want to know let me know what you're going to do with dragon's ravine that is what i want to find out okay now that we're past dragon's ravine that's basically the last dragoonity card i wanted to talk about so let's move on to ice barriers okay Ice Barriers is a deck that I really just looked up not too long ago because I wanted to see what was uh, really strong and if we got any of those cards in Duel Links. So really quick, I want to look up Ice Barrier and we can see what we are missing. And we're missing everything from... We have a lot of Ice Barrier cards, god damn. We're missing everything from here down. So wow, we have a lot of the archetype now. We still don't have Duloran. Uh, but I believe he was in a previous leak, so he might be popping up somewhere else. And then we're still missing some of these. Or, or actually, we're about to get a lot of these, so let's read through the ones that we're actually getting. So first, we have General Wade of the Ice Barrier. This is going to banish spell and trap cards when they're set, uh, if they were going to be sent to the graveyard. And then if your opponent controls a monster and you control an Ice Barrier, you can special summon it from the hand. And when you do special summon it or just summon it, you can add an Ice Barrier spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Pretty self-explanatory. And guys, really quickly, I wanted you to take a look at this before we cover any more of the Ice Barrier cards. I looked up an Ice Barrier deck, even though there is some adventure in it, because I wanted to see what are the really good Ice Barrier cards. And we are actually getting a lot of the really good uh, Ice Barrier cards that they're playing in the TCG right now. So let's continue with one of those three ofs. We have Revealer of the Ice Barrier. This is a water level four spellcaster. While you control another Ice Barrier monster, your opponent cannot tribute summon, period. You can only use each effect of the following. You can only use each of the following effects of Revealer once per turn. You can discard one card, special summon one Ice Barrier Tuner from your deck. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except water monsters. If you would discard or send a card from your hand to the graveyard, you can activate. You can activate an Ice Barrier monsters effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Very very nice. I like this so so much. First of all, it's an instant synchro summon for whatever you want. Ice Barrier Tuner. Dude, there are a ton of Ice Barrier Tuners, and all you need to do is have this on the field, and you can make levels 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm, you know, it's the possibilities are near endless with uh, Ice Barrier. They're one of the first synchro archetypes, so they have a bunch of varied level tuners. So this card, extremely good for Ice Barriers. I want to see how easy it's going to make making a uh, card like Trishula or the new one. All right, now we've got Speaker for the Ice Barrier. It's level four. While you control another Ice Barrier monster, defense position monsters, your opponent controls cannot change their battle positions. Ooh, you can only use each of the following effects of Speaker of the Ice Barriers once per turn. You can, if you control an Ice Barrier monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you control an Ice Barrier monster, you can banish this card from your river and special summon one Ice Barrier token level one. Okay, if you control Ice Barrier Monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Okay, so it doesn't have to be destroyed in any specific way, but it is follow-up, so you can make a synchro play. Of course, the, to the token itself is not a tuner, 
But, you know, given we have three zones of dueling, she'll probably have to have a full field to make a synchro off of this guy's ladder play. However, the fact that this is a this is just a free special summon off of any ice barrier monster, again, instant synchro with just this and another ice barrier. Very, very, very good. Next, we've got Judge of the Ice Barrier. This says, while you control another ice barrier monster, each time your opponent activates a card or, or effect by paying life points, they lose uh, 500, which is going to be 250. And this is very specific. They have to pay life points uh, for the effect in order to get this extra burn. You can only use each effect once per turn. You can target one or two ice barrier monsters in your graveyard and one or two cards in your opponent's graveyard. Shuffle them into the deck. If you control an ice barrier monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard the target when attacks based monster on the field. Change it to defense. Uh, very interesting. I think I would play this guy at one. Uh, you're definitely going to want to use it to recycle your good Ice Barrier monsters that are in the grave if you've gone through like all of your revealers or all of your speakers. Uh, very interesting. Don't think you're going to be playing more than one of this guy because honestly, speaker and revealer, th those are both three ofs or maybe this one is two. So this guy, I can only see playing him at one. Nothing more than that. Okay, so the next big Ice Bearer card is Medallion of the Ice Bearer, and this is boom. Add an Ice Barrier monster from your deck to your hand. S straight, sweet, and to the point. Search an Ice Barrier. Very, very good. It does not get better than that for spell cards. Then we have Winds over the Ice Barrier. This is a normal spell. Tribute any number of Ice Barrier monsters. Special summon from your deck that many level 4 or lower Ice Barrier monsters with different names from each other. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one of your ice barrier monsters that is banished or your graveyard, add it to your hand. Okay. So this is basically a way, I guess, to just unbrick yourself. However, level four or lower ice barriers, yes. So no matter what ice barriers you have on the field, if you have wins over, it's going to ensure that you're able to swap out one that you can't use for one that you can. So... This card, it seems very good, very, very good. I would play it maybe at two just because, you know, I feel like if you you want to open the right Ice Barrier Monsters instead of opening too many copies of this card and then not open an Ice Barrier Monster, so I would keep this at two or less, you know. You really want to be able to search with Medallion for sure. That's always going to give you a monster. Wins is not going to give you a monster unless you already have monsters. And it's not going to give you more monsters. It's just going to replace the monsters that you have with better monsters that you can use for Synchro Summons. So you have to already have monsters for wins. So I'm thinking one to two copies for this card, even though it does seem pretty good. All right. We've got two Ice Barrier Synchros. We've got Trishula. Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Level 11. One tutor plus two or more non-tutor monsters. When this card is Synchro Summoned, you can banish up to three cards your opponent controls. Boom. This is a this is a generic Synchro Monster, level 11, and it banishes up to three cards your opponent controls. It doesn't say target, so this is not... I, be, I believe this is non-targeting banishing. Please correct me if I am wrong in chat, but I believe that's what that is. If this Synchro Summon card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can Special Summon a Trishula make from the extra deck or graveyard and make its attack 3300, then have the attack of any face-up monster your opponent currently controls and negate their effects. So this card is pretty sick just based off of its Synchro Summon effect. However, if, you are, if your opponent is so foolish as to destroy it via an effect, I mean, man, you are basically going to win the duel after that. You do not want to TTH this card whatsoever. You're definitely going to, your opponent is definitely going to want to swing over it for sure. And then uh, regular Trishula is being added. I don't believe this is a part of the box. I do believe Trishula is going to be a part of this uh, bundle deal. And I believe that this is how they are going to effectively uh, limit Trishula to one in Duel Links. I don't think it's going to come in the box. I believe it's just going to come through the UR bundle deal. That way they can effectively limit it to one. Okay. Uh, so let's go back up here. I want to talk about Black Wings, the Infernities. There's nothing too interesting here, to be honest. I'll talk about Infernities really quick. Infernity, Wildcat, and Conjurer are the new real main deck additions that are going to be in the game. Sage is basically an anime card that they have added uh, into the game. Uh, you can send the Infernity monster from your deck to the graveyard. Yeah, not the best, dude. I mean, 
They also have this Infernity Suppressor, not the best, and Crimson Blader is kind of an Infernity card. I believe it's Callan Kessler's monster, but it's like, whatever, dude. Not an Infernity. Red Wyvern, this is going to be good for Resonators, not much else here. But uh, yeah, it has a pretty cool effect. It is, it is a generic level 6 Synchro, so take a look at that for sure. Okay, Black Wings, let's do it. Huge, huge, huge for Black Wings, dude. We have finally been given Kalut the Moon Shadow in Black Wings, in Duel Links. Finally, dude, we have gotten access to Kalut. Kalut is the OG hand trap during either player's damage step. When a Black Wing monster you control is attacked or being attacked, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. That monster gains 1,400 attack until the end of this turn. Boys. Black Wings were feeling, they were hurting for Kalut so, so bad. Konami finally deems Duel Links ready for Kalut. That's why I'm saying this is the best year of Duel Links, baby. So a hand trap that makes your Black Wing monsters gain 1,400 attack. This is going to make monsters like Raikiri and Shidori be 100% Lethal on board, 2600 plus 14, that's going to put you at 4k. So all of the Black Wing Synchros now are basically going to be able to OTK you if there's Kalut in the hand. And this is going to be activated during the damage step, so you really do not want to let any Black Wing Synchro monster swing into your life points. Because if they have Kalut, you will lose the duel. Okay, after Kalut, dude, there's not much left for Black Wings. There's this crappy uh, equip spell, and then they've got Black Sonic, which is pretty interesting. This is a normal trap. It says, when an opponent's monster declares an attack on a Black Wing monster you control, banish all face-up attack position monsters your opponent controls. If you control exactly three Black Wing monsters, uh, no other monsters, you can activate this card from your hand. So this trap, it seems pretty nice, dude. All your opponent has to do is declare an attack and you banish everything. You effectively mirror force your opponent if you only control a black wing. And if you control three black wings, I don't know why you control three black wings on your opponent's turn and not be in a winning position, but then you can activate this card from your hand. However, Black Sonic on its own has a great regular effect. This makes if you brick with Black Wings, it doesn't say it has to be a Black Wings Synchro. If you brick with, brick with Black Wings, you can put this up. You're protected until you have your combo. So Black Sonic, I think it's going to make Black Wings way safer overall. And uh, dude, Black Sonic plus Kalut, this is some pretty damn good support for Black Wings. Honestly, cards I feel like they should have had a while ago, but damn, dude, it's pretty nice to have them here. Let me know what you guys think about Black Wings. I want to see what you guys do with them. And Black Wings have two new synchros. They first have No Thung, the Starlight. This is a level six. It says, when if this card is special summon, inflict 800 damage to your opponent, which will be 400. Then one face of monster your opponent controls loses 800 attack and defense. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can normal summon one Blackwing monster in addition to your normal summon set. Very, very interesting. Is this kind of like a combo Blackwing monster? If it is, I do think its combo potential is really stunted by it being 400. However, it does allow you to uh, normal summon again. So while you will need the Blackwing that you do need specifically in your hand, you can pick up that specific Blackwing that you need with Black Whirlwind, if you summon a powerful enough Black Wing, because Black Whirlwind is a pretty uh, f flexible search. It can get you anything of lower attack. You can get a super low level tuner, make no thug first, summon the tuner that you already have in your hand, and then you can make something else, a level seven, level eight, you know, make something higher Black Wings. And I guess you're just doing this for the effect damage first. You can only no thug once per turn for the effect damage, but, uh, you know, whatever, you know. It, it, you got to use it for something, right? Then we've got Assault Blackwing, Sayo the Hidden Rider, the Rain Hider. This is a level two. If this card is Synchro Summon using a Blackwing monster as material, it is treated as a tutor while face up on the field. Twice per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. So uh, you're obviously going to make this guy with uh black wings and that means it will be treated as a tutor so basically the strategy with this is to use the lower level assault black wings to pair them with your regular black wings and assault black wings synchros this is how you make uh, something like odimaru this is just making it easier you know uh black wing oh man is how you spell black wing yes <laughs> this is how you make high level synchros like the odimaru uh, we don't have any other really high level ones. We've got Silverwind, that's level 8. But other than that, I think Odimaru is the only really high level one 
that uh, we have, period. Yeah, we don't have any other of these other guys. So yeah, Odie Martin. This is going to make Odie Martin easier. And guys, those are all the archetypes uh, and their support. There's a couple other interesting cards like Ravenous Croco Dragon. This guy is used to make VFD in Master Duel. He's a level 9 Synchro. And it lets you draw two cards or discard two cards then target a card on the field and destroy it. Don't know how useful that's going to be in Duel Links. Discarding two cards is basically a death sentence in Duel Links. But then this one will allow you to draw cards as well. Now, this one was pretty interesting to me, and it is the box cover card, Stardust Warrior. It's a level 10 Synchro Monster that requires one tutor Synchro Monster and one or more non-tuner Synchro Monsters. So this says, during either player's turn, if your opponent would special summon the monsters, you contribute this card, negate the summon. And if you do, destroy that monster. During the end phase, if this effect was activated this turn and was not negated, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if this card is destroyed by battle, or if this face-up card you control leaves the field because, because of an opponent's monster effect, you can special summon one level or lower warrior secret monster from your extra deck. Boom. So for me, this guy seems like a little DPE light. He seems like light DPE for duelings, except ex instead of destroying anything, you're going to be negating a summon once per turn. Getting that off without it being negated, you're going to be able to constantly use this monster and negate important summons. This is super, super busted, and I think it's really going to see play in TGs. If anything, TG is better than the Junk Synchro and Warrior Synchro Yusei deck. However, this card is even better in the Yusei deck because it allows you to bring out any Warrior Synchro after it is destroyed, albeit by an opponent's card effect. So not too accessible there. Crimson Blader, he's a great Synchro monster, generic level eight. All you gotta do is destroy an opponent's monster by battle and your opponent cannot summon anything over level five. It's pretty nasty. And guys, I do want to say that is all the Duel Links links for now. I just want to check this one more time to make sure it hasn't updated on me. And yeah, we're getting one SR reprint here. Trishula is coming out as well. And the new mini box, Stars of Synchro. Let me know in the comments what you guys are excited for. Ice Barriers are getting a lot of their very good support. Dragoonies finally have access to Dragon Ravine. And uh, Black Wings, they've got Kalut. Those are the three highlights for me. Kalut, Dragon Ravine, and this new Ice Barrier support, which seems to be pivotal parts of the deck. So let me know what you guys think. If you think it's just copium, if it's going to be, it's, if it's just a filler box until Vrains. And guys, even though I do like some of the stuff in this box, Vrains is coming. Remember, Vrains is coming, and this is a filler box until Vrains. So peace out, guys. Let me know what you think. And uh, like the video if you did enjoy it. And we appreciate all your support, guys. Peace out. We'll see you next time.